Hi, welcome to the new Spring Boot tutorial series. This tutorial is based on the new Spring Boot 3 version. In part 3 of this tutorial, we will continue from part 2. This time we are going to implement a service class. Are we going to use dependency injection in Spring Boot? Using both these techniques, we are going to rewrite our CRUD controller class. Let's code. As you can see, we have prepared our user service class. We need to provide our service class with a service annotation so Spring Boot can find the class so we can use dependency injection later. All the methods are the same ones we used in part 2 in our CRUD controller. Get users. Get user by ID. Create user. Update user. Patch user. And delete user. Now we go back to our CRUD controller class. As you can see our class has become much simpler. It is a good idea in Spring Boot to write the logic not in a controller class but in a separate service class. To make use of dependency injection we create a private final field. User service. Which we make available with a constructor in our CRUD controller class. Because we use Lombok it is sufficient for us to use the required arcs constructor annotation. You can see in the outline view that we created a constructor with this annotation. So, this is the end of part 3. In the next part we're going to implement a database connection. To keep the project simple at first we will use a H2 database. Thank you. Like. Comment. Share. And subscribe.